what Ryan Glover will chase. And he might just be favourite, you know, the way the wind has just uh, lent it over to the right-hand side. He drops it back to Oxlade Chamberlain. He thinks about taking on his man here. He does so. And he's got past him. He can get a cross in from the right-hand side now. But that's only dropped straight at the feet of Ollie Harfield. He's given it away inside the penalty area, though. Glover's picked it up. Changes passes with Oxlade Chamberlain. Tries a little ball in. That's going to go straight through to the keeper, Ross Fitzsimons. And I can finally come for the first Hold time. It up. And then Moose has won it off of him. Threads a ball into the right channel. A really good ball for Josh McCoy. McCoy squares it. It's behind a few players. Shields coming onto it. And he's shot wide. I don't think there's any deflection there. And Sean Shields is probably one of the players on the Weymouth side you'd want coming on to that. He certainly didn't compromise on the shot, but he fired it wide and uh, relief there for Aldershot. And Weymouth asking the second question in two minutes, Steve. That's good yeah. enough, really, for Edsa. And uh, it isn't because uh, Drew puts it into touch. Throw in then to Aldershot. Edsa will come and take that. Level with the edge of the Weymouth penalty area. Aldershot yet to have an effort on goal this afternoon. Weymouth have had a couple. Uh, one wide, one just over. Aldershot have probably looked the better side, but uh, as Steve, we were talking about a lot with Neil in the week. Possession, territory, none of it means anything. It's goals that count. Clip ball over the top from Harris. Well won by, or almost won by, Willard. And then Willard snapping away, might end up giving away a foul here, but he doesn't. He wins the ball, finds Edsa. Edsa to Harris. Harris is buffeted. Ref thinks about the throw, but Harris loses his man. Cuts inside now. He's the edge of the penalty area, and then he is fouled on the edge of the penalty area. Aldershot will have a free kick. 19, 20 yards out. Almost position A for a right footer. Um, and, uh, well, Tommy Willard, who's been out of the side for a while. He's had his knocks. I think he's going to shoot here. There are five players of the Aldershot level with that last line, about eight yards out as well. But there's no doubt an opportunity for Tommy Willard to step up here right foot, and he does. And uh, he gets a little bit of curl on it, a little bit of pace, but uh, uh, he's well over. The ball uh, up that can bring others into play, that can allow the team to get forward. Here's a ball into the chest of Shields, only as far as Harris. Phillips heads it forward. Murray's gonna, uh, Murray's gonna try a shot from distance. That's always slicing wide. And uh, it's another goal kick to shots. It's the third effort on goal of the afternoon. Uh, and the widest of all of them, I'd say, from... But we've got a good opportunity to get the ball in here and get someone on the end of it, hopefully. Yeah, we're still on air at this end. I've had a message from someone who said uh, that they can't uh, get us, but uh, hopefully uh, hopefully you guys can. We've got green lights at this end. Ball into the area from Aldershot, flicked up in the air and onwards by Aldershot. And then the goalkeeper, Ritz Fitzsimons, has dropped it just down near Cody Lyons. Foster is up for the corner. He's... Ball with Oxlade Chamberlain on the right hand side, plays it to Glover. Glover tries to get a ball in. Corey Jordan's well up there. Tries a spin and a shot. Oxlade Chamberlain's got it. Can he hook it across? It's off of uh, Harfield behind. Corner to shots. Presumably will be the last chance for either side in the first half here. Weymouth nil, all the shot town nil. Toby Eds is going to swing in a corner from the left hand side. It's headed away to the edge of the area where Silla picks it up. He gives it back to Edsa. Can Aldershot get the ball in the box? Can they get one more attack as the uh, sun comes out here at the Bob Lucas? And he can only find Glover. Glover goes past Musa, plays it inside to Silla. Nice footwork from him. He's on the edge of the penalty area. He's given a free kick, the referee, but that has to be a penalty. And we're not going to get VAR, so it will remain a free kick. Steve, for me, 100% inside the penalty area. Absolute awful decision from the referee. Yeah. Uh, you get a second chance from the free kick here, Willard, the only Aldershot Town player to strike on goal. In comes a shot, cannons into a body, it's half cleared, and then Greenwich completes the clearance. We'll come back to Steve again in a minute. Oxlade Chamberlain with a good whipped ball in, it's headed on, only as far as Willard. Willard's got a run on the outside of him from Toby Edsa. Edsa's onto the ball now, puts a cross in. Oh, it hits the bar! It, it actually hits the bar and then rebounds to Glover, who's kept the ball in play. Good ball inside to Oxlade Chamberlain. He's on the edge of the area now. He'll look to get across into the far post. Paniatu's there. Willard's picked the ball up. Can he set someone up or get a shot away himself? He does get a shot in. That's cleared. 
And Weymouth's goal survives, but it's a much, much better start for the shots going forward at the start of the second half. The, penalty area, the referee gave a very clear and quick decision as a free kick on the edge of the box. Uh, Willard's free kick hit the wall. And then after that, uh, Edsa put a cross into the area that cannoned back off the crossbar. So shots asking more questions, lively in possession. Uh, and... Uh, Looking like they might get the first goal, but it remains goalless as we speak. Joe Weymouth nil, Aldershot Town nil. They've got more defensive. Okay, Edsa is going to step up, left footed, and send this corner in, in swinging. Paniatu, the ball drops at his feet, but quickly it's cleared away. For a moment, it looked like it might be there to strike, but quick defensive work, right hand side. Drew comes back to Musa again. And still Goldmouth uh, at the moment. Cross coming in from Weymouth and a header down. Takes a deflection and goes behind for a corner to Harfield. who curls a ball inside. Headed winner from Phillips. It's going to bounce in front of Edsa. Will he time his jump with Musa? He does well. Then back to Lyons Foster who lifts the ball over the top. Chested down nicely by Harry Paniatu into the path of Jaden Harris. <coughs> <coughs> and Harris is tripped. But, yep. um, Harris is, gets my man of the match excellent stuff yeah Harris and Silla superb in midfield again Corey Jordan superb at the back and uh, Harry Paniati has given his all and that's why he's still on the pitch for 90 minutes I think the management have recognised that free kick then opposite side our side Edsa left footed in it comes who can get a touch it's in the goal I don't even know who put it in it's in the goal though and it's been given and all the shot have scored what could be a 90th minute winner. Forgive me, listeners. I couldn't see who got the vital touch, but the free kick was shut into the box. It might well be Mikhail and Jolie. It might be Mo Silla. It's one of those two, I think, but it is Weymouth nil, Aldershot Town one. My south end this afternoon because Aldershot are winning. There is the final whistle. And it is to be late victory for Aldershot Town, who made themselves hard to beat for the entire 92 minutes and nicked a goal right at the end. Steve Aspinall. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.